welcome to Mary's Make Shop. I know it's been a while since I made my last video, but I wanted to share something that I've been working on, a Centroid Acorn case. So I made this Infusion 360. Um, if you guys saw, I actually uploaded the um, acorn board onto the form that I made, and then I actually made the case in collaboration with my friend Miguel. It has nice mounting ports to actually um, do screw mounts for your acorn board, as well as clasps. So it has kind of a clasp on mechanism to shut. I'll actually um, do a little section analysis and show you what that looks like. So the way I made it is really not to be open and closed a bunch of times. It's supposed to really stay in place. But if you wanted to change the clasp um, configuration, you can I just have a nice little tolerance in there. But that's really what holds it together. Here's a 3D rendered version of the case. I use the infamous Centroid Acorn logo. I was really excited how this turned out. I used a Form Labs SLA 3D printer, which has a resolution of around 50 microns. And that's what um, I made the clear, I based the clearances off of for my terminal strips and my DB25 connector which all fit nicely, but I would encourage you um, for your 3D printer to make sure you know the, the um, resolutions and make your ports uh, with the correct clearances. Another thing um, that was brought up was what about the heat deflection and is it gonna melt? So the heat deflection at 264 PSI for my material um, was 137.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I talked to some people that were familiar with the acorn and they said that would be fine. Um, I would encourage you though for your 3D printer to make sure you know the material's heat deflection temperature. So I wanted to get this out to you guys so you could change it, modify it um, as such. This is for the version 3 acorn. I put it up on Thingiverse and not only um, can you access the S .stl files but also my .f3d file for the Fusion 360 um, design file. Anyway, hope these design files of the acorn case are useful to you. Really excited to hopefully see some of your prints and hear your thoughts. Catch you on the next one.